Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 30 day challenge. For those of you who don't know, the 30 day challenge is me posting one video per day for the next 30 days in the month of September. Uh, fair warning though, some of these videos were filmed the last two weeks of August. I have a full time job outside of YouTube, so it's virtually impossible for me to fish and film and produce a video on the same day. So to start it off, I figured we'd shine the boat up. Got some cool stuff in the mail by Better Boat. Got some marine polish, marine de degreaser for this stuff right back here in the splash well, boat soap, and of course, a boat wax applicator kit. So, I did a video on this, well, it was a little bit different of a video. It was a how to wet sand and wax the boat. If you have a heavy coat of oxidation, I don't really have a heavy coat of oxidation. Ooh, so we can brighten that up. Let's see if we just take this off for now. There we go, that's better. So I really don't have a heavy coat of oxidation. Um, I wet sanded last time. I will link a video, it'll be in one of these corners. You can check that out of how to go and fully wet sand and wax the boat. This one is just pretty much wipe it down with some boat wash, right there, or boat soap. Clean, clean all the dirt off, and then take the uh, boat polish, the marine polish here, this guy, and then really shine it up. Uh, this is a 1998 Fisher F-18 Pro bass boat, it's fiberglass. I bought the boat not because it looked really sharp, but there's definitely some dock rash and, and scratches on it, but I bought it to fish out of. So, but you do want to make it look at least somewhat nice. So we're going to get some of this dirt off. Yeah, yeah, there's some dirt there. Actually, that's a, that's a gouge. Well, I do fish out of it, let's just say that. Might need to fix that later. Yeah, it is not a uh, $70,000 bass boat, but it is my boat and it's paid for. So let's get to applying the first step, which is the boat wash. I'm gonna need a bucket and some warm water. And then we're gonna use the kit to uh, wash off the dirt in a little part of this, part of this boat hull. All right, so we got our bucket of water here and we're gonna add this Carnaba wax. We're gonna add that in there. Oh, this is the, not the marine polish, the boat soap. That's what we're adding. There we go. We're adding the boat soap, not the marine polish just yet. Concentrate. And use one cap full of solution per each gallon of water. Okay, well, I don't think I have quite a gallon of water in here, but we're just gonna add a little bit. That should be good. And now we need our kit. So your applicator set comes with three of these yellow sponges, three of the uh, the blue sponges, which are a little more heavy duty to, to put in any type of polishing wax, or if you have some like a rubbing compound or a cutting put compound, they do sell those as well. These was that's what these would be for. Um, Probably put a waxing. I'm gonna probably use these for my marine polish, a little bit finer texture. And then it comes with a towel, two towels, two of them. I'm gonna use one of them to uh, clean this little section of the boat off. And then uh, I'm gonna just stop right, right about here. I should put a piece of tape there. Let's do that. Mix in that solution a little bit. We'll see how much dirt comes off of here. Looks like there's a bunch of dirt on here. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of dirt on here. Important to wipe out all the dirt before you put any type of rubbing compound or waxing compound on here. Check out this difference. So this is the untouched stuff. You can definitely tell there's more of like a gloss haze over the top of it. And then that's just wiping it down with that, that boat soap. 
looks uh, a lot better already. Right. I'm just going to apply a little bit, a little bit on the corner there, and then we're going to rub it in. I want to focus on this division of uh, where I have the tape here. Now, ideally, uh, when you're applying wax, either wax or rubbing compound or some sort of polish, you can use a, a sander, like a power sander, but with a buffer type of pad instead of the sanding pad. Um, but for the 30 day challenge, I figured I might as well get a shoulder workout in because I'm going to do a lot of casting. So we're going to just use elbow grease to get this one done. Oh yeah, this thing's shining there up real nice. This is definitely a labor of love, okay? This stuff takes time, so be patient with it. And then you gotta let it haze up after you really rub it in. So I'm gonna do just about a foot section here. I can already tell it's polishing it up really nice compared to this other side. So now, we're going to let this haze up. I mean, I can already tell. It's kind of hard here. Let's see if we can back up a little bit. I can already tell this is more of a haze gloss on this side from that oxidation through here. And that little section, oh, you can definitely tell. That little section right here really polished up, but it's going to haze up while it dries. And then I'm going to take the uh, dry cloth. I might damp, I might uh, dampen it a little bit and then wipe it down. That's kind of what I did for my uh, how to wet sand and wax video. But this is definitely a labor of love for your boat. It will take time. And if you do have a, uh, if you do want to do it quicker, use the uh, buffer power sander type of thing. But. Uh, I'm going to be doing some casting. Figured I'd get a shoulder workout in. All right, we're going to let that dry up, haze up. Okay, well, it's a little bit hazed up. It's kind of hard to see. It's a little bit hazed up here. There we go. Um, the the wax that I used, or the polishing compound I used the last time I did this was a thicker haze. It really hazed up on me, the waxing. Um, I don't know if I needed to add more to the polishing or not. It, it says use smaller areas. Maybe I rubbed it too far, but it's a little bit hazed up right now, so we're going to wipe it down. You can already see the difference, um, even though I haven't wiped it down yet. This has got some, well, it's got dirt oxidation on it, and then this is really shined up on this side so we're going to wipe it down with a dry towel first and then dampen that towel and wipe it clean all right so we'll wipe it down with the dry towel first now i'll probably have to dampen it a little bit last time i did this with the wax i had to dampen it Here we go. Yeah. Definitely a shoulder workout if you're going to do it by hand. All right. Let's peel this tape off and uh, I will show you the difference. Yeah, you can see that, that line right, right here. Uh, this is all dirty and there's some little bit of oxidation on this side and then that's the that's the clean I, I did till right about here so that section all shined up polished ready to go 
Now I just got to do the entire boat. Yay. Again, highly recommend you uh, use a sanding or a, like a power buffer, power sander with a buffing pad on it if you're going to do an entire boat. Um, that's, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Huge thank you to Better Boat for sending me this stuff. Oh, we got to do the marine degreaser. So a lot of you guys, if you got a splash well, if you have a, uh, a rack and pinion system within the steering, which is what I have, I have a double rack and pinion system, uses marine grease. Um, it's not a hydraulic system. So what happens a lot of times is that grease will drip down into the splash well here. My boat's been sitting a while outside. I <laughs> got some leaves there. So I'm going to throw some marine degreaser there and uh, use paper towels to wa wipe it out because that's supposed to be all white. It's supposed to be this color white down there. We're going to do that right now. All right. Spray some of this in here. Tighten up the cap a little bit. Oh yeah, you can already tell it's peeling off. Yep, there it goes. That's what it's supposed to look like. Nice and white. That's a really good degreaser. You gotta do this every so often if you have these rack and pinion systems that wax or that, that grease will drip down over the over the weeks and months that you have the boat running on the water and steering. Oh yeah, it shined it up pretty nice. So there you go. Huge thank you to Better Boat for sending me this stuff. Uh, keeping my boat nice and shiny for this 30 day challenge. I'm probably gonna have to reapply some of it after I'm done with this 30 day challenge series, but Marine degreaser worked like a charm down there. And then I highly recommend probably using a little more of this on given sections of the boat, using smaller sections of the boat and put a little more on to help haze it up. So I will link this stuff in the video description. You can check it out. Um, if you're interested in how to wet sand and wax the boat uh, fully, I did another video again. You can check it out here. Um, otherwise, look forward to posting these 30 day challenge videos in the month of September. And uh, yeah, appreciate you watching. We'll see ya.